Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 11, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied and then given most of those gains back. The main reason for this is because we're getting really, really overstretched here in the bullish band. So it's very likely at this point that we will fall back towards the middle of the bullish band. There's a drop of roughly 112 pips or roughly 121 pips to say, or 0 0.87%. So we'll fall back towards uh, these previous highs or give or take around that area. So we have the 20, the 40 and the 50 uh, moving average um, acting as major support for this currency pair. Getting close to the 20 exponential is a buying opportunity. Getting close to the 40 or the 50, that's even better buying opportunities. So other technical indicators are looking very bullish at this point, but pullbacks are expected when we are we ha when we have um, gone this far outside of the bullish band. So pull back towards the 20 exponential roughly at 1371. That is where buyers will come back in and pressure this up towards 14 or 1.4. So let's look at uh, US dollar, um, Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have, um, well, we rallied and then we fell and then we rallied yet again. So we're trading just above the, the 20 moving average here in the bullish band. We did pierce the, the, the middle of the bullish band, but we did not break uh, below that significantly. If you look at other technical indicators, they are all turning around. So it may well be that we will cross these moving averages here, the 40, 100, and the 50, and then go back towards this channel that we were in. If we go down towards the 50, where we'll have this trend line, if we go back towards this area here and bounce, that may well may indicate that we'll go back towards at least the 200 moving average. So that will indicate we'll go back towards nearly the top of the bullish band here and we'll start trending upwards. So it's going to be interesting what basically happens here. If we break below this area here, we'll go back into this channel that we were previously in and this will just be a fairly false breakout. So at this point, I'm just leaving this to the side to see what basically happens here and no interest in basically trading this whatsoever. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. So we had rallied from the 150 moving average all the way up towards the 1214. And that's a move of roughly 1.61% or 192 pips. And we have found quite a lot of resistance here just underneath the 50 moving average. So in order for us to continue with this uptrend, we basically need to break above the 50 moving average. So we are above the 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band, but we have found resistance. If we fall back, we'll fall back towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band around um, 1199, and then we may have another go at the upside. Technical indicators are turning around, so the probability that we'll break the 50 moving average is actually bigger than we'll fall back towards the 150 or the 100 moving average. So the MACD is crossing the signal line, it's still underneath zero, so it's still in a negative trend. The RSI is becoming bullish, the CCI is becoming bullish, and the stochastic is very bullish. So if we break above the 50 and then close above the 50, then that is a really good sign that we will go much higher from here. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. As you can see, we have rallied and then we broke down again. So we have been rallying all the way down, basically down here at 0 0.75, all the way up to 0 0.77, and that's roughly 2.54%. So uh, quite a big rally, and it is expected for us to pull back towards the 20 exponential, give or take. We are getting close to the top of the bullish band, but the RSI is still low, and uh, yeah, we may just see a small pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly at 0 0.76896, and then we continue rallying higher. 
I believe that in the next few three to four weeks, we'll most likely see this currency pair getting closer to 0 0.8. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see, we have fallen and then we have rallied. So yes, if you look at technical indicators for this currency pair, they're looking very bearish indeed. So it may well be that we will rally from here towards the 20 exponential and then have another go at these previous lows. So we are getting quite low here. We're getting close to the, the, the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And uh, yes, when you have been breaking down this for this amount of time, usually you'll see a rally up towards the 20 uh, moving average before you continue down. So every rally here is basically a selling opportunity. So we have been in the downtrend for a very long time now, ever since basically in uh, March 2020, this has just been declining. So hope you find this helpful. You're wel welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.